This community has been living illegally on private land for nearly 20 years. It used to be part of a farm in Johannesburg. They think the owner lives abroad. They worry one day they'll be evicted. Government can buy that land and build other houses. But the government says some landowners don't want to sell or their asking price is too high. So it set up a parliamentary committee to examine a land expropriation bill. And if it becomes law, it'll give the state power to buy land without paying the market price. The government has to justify why it needs the property, negotiate with affected parties and agree on a price. But if negotiations fail, a notice of intention to take over the land is issued. The expropriation takes place and the, compensa the final compensation that had been offered by government, even if you're not accepting that, would, would then be paid to you on expropriation. You would still have the right to go to court or to say the way in which the government is proceeding is administratively unjust. Land is a sensitive issue in South Africa. It's partly the reason for the increasing racial tensions here. Apartheid left much of the land in the hands of a small, mainly white minority. Some opposition parties feel black people should take back their land. Land is everything. It's identity, it's for industrial purposes, it's for agriculture, it's for residential purposes. Africans are still living like pigs. The bill says expropriation must be in the public interest and used for public purposes, such as building a school. Some people feel the definition of the term property is too broad. They feel it gives government the power to take virtually any kind of business or property, not just land. Some South Africans worry the government could one day take over private homes and businesses to build houses and other facilities for the poor. One must also think about the homeowners, the business owners, who would be expropriated in these circumstances and would find it very difficult ever to find an alternative home if they get mixed with market value, for example. Government officials insist land will not be arbitrarily seized and there will be no state-sponsored land grabs, similar to what happened in neighboring Zimbabwe. They say they only want to correct the current imbalance of ownership between black and white South Africans. Harumatasa Al Jazeera, Johannesburg.